Oh hi, it's Rob again, and uh, I'm working on a chainsaw. Got to uh, do some stuff with the the chain. Managed to cut into something that had a, uh, a plastic bit on it that got bound up in the chain, so I've got to uh, remove that, which is a little bit tedious, but it's a nice day and. Uh, you know, sit out here with the dogs for a while and work on this and kind of zone out for a little bit. Uh, there we go. We got stuff bound up in the outer uh, outer bearing. Okay, let's get the rest of this cleared. Alright, so what I'm going to try is mounting the uh, blade part upside down. It is symmetrical, so it does go upside down. Most chainsaws are built like that. Uh, what that will do is it will run the bearing the other way from what it's been going, and that hopefully will help to reduce some of the binding and maybe get some of that crap out of the end, but we'll see. Otherwise, I'll just have to get another one of these. Alright, after a little bit of back and forth with the chain, it looks like I may not even need to do that. Uh, I'm going to do it anyway, just to uh, put a little bit of variety in things. But uh, let me get the chain stacked on. I don't know if I've showed you this trick before, but before you put the chain on, if you put some painter's tape on once this is in the groove, it's going to make it a lot easier to handle. Because otherwise you spend time fighting with losing the chain in the guide up here. There we go. They're back in operation.